Ever wonder what cleaning system to use in a facility or office? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Well, you know, um, cleaning systems is something that we need to decide on, typically when we're doing the walkthrough with the prospect. Uh, it gives us a pretty good idea as we're doing our walkthrough that we may use a zone cleaning system, we may use a team cleaning system, or a blended or a collaborative. Uh, but that's generally when it's first going to enter your mind that you're going to think about what cleaning system to use. So when I talk about cleaning systems, that's just it. It's you got zone cleaning, team cleaning, blended cleaning, collaborative cleaning. Those are just uh, four of the, the most common that uh, will be used. So, uh, you know, as, we're, as we decide to select which uh, cleaning system, our... Uh, We'll, we'll choose that on probably the layout of the facility, the size, and so on and so forth. And in some cases, you know, we may use a combination of each. So, for example, uh, zone cleaning. Zone cleaning is where we will have uh, a cleaner uh, designated for a certain section of the building or, or, or an office. And they would uh, perform all the tasks in that, uh, in that section or, or building. So they would uh, dump the trash, uh, clean the bathrooms, uh, do the dusting, mopping, and vacuuming. So that's what they would do. That's zone cleaning. And, uh, you know, depending on the size of the facility, maybe you'll have multiple people, or, or if you have multiple floors, maybe you'll have one person per floor cleaning their zone. So that would be one example. Now, another common example is the team cleaning. Now, the team cleaning, you, you generally will have four specialists. You don't need to use four. Uh, you can use as little as two uh, in, a, in a team cleaning uh, um, system. So your, your specialists are, <clears throat> excuse me, your specialists are you got the starter light duty specialist, then you have a closer, a vacuum specialist, then you have a restroom specialist, and a utility specialist. So now each one of these specialists has a, perf uh, a specific task that, that they perform or task. And that's how that works. So if, let's say we had a, oh, a 50,000 square foot facility, uh, we would uh, uh, use a team cleaning system, a four person team to go through this facility. So each one of our specialists would start at a, at a, a, a point and work through the facility. Uh, depending on how we have this laid out, we may have it staggered to where each, one, each of the specialists starts uh, within a 15 minute uh, time, sp uh, time spread of each other. But in either case, it will typically be to where we, they all get done uh, at the same time. That's the goal. So that's another ex uh, common example. Uh, blended cleaning is where we would use our zone cleaning and team cleaning together within a facility. Um, and again, you know, so that's pretty straightforward. So we got our zone uh, person, uh, they're probably doing the trash, dusting, and vacuuming. Uh, then we have our team uh, specialists that are doing restrooms, utility, uh, and utility work. So, you know, maybe the utility person is uh, collecting, uh, collecting the trash that's been dumped uh, at, uh, at our dump, uh, dump spots uh, by the zone person, and then maybe they're doing uh, carpet spotting. So that's the example for blended cleaning. Now, a collaborative cleaning is where we would use a, a zone cleaner to clean the office or the facility and then we would also we'd also have the tenants helping with the cleaning so what the tenants do in a collaborative clean is that we'd have uh, centrally located uh, trash bins so these people would be able to come the tenants the the, the employees of the office uh, they would be able to come to these centrally located places and dump their trash well, that really takes a lot of work off the zone cleaner now. Now they're only going to certain locations, uh, centrally located areas, just to collect the trash and or recycling. Uh, we've had many com uh, buildings like that, that we put that system in the place, and it works, works very well. But So those are your, your different types of uh, uh, cleaning systems that you may use. So, uh, you know, and through this video, uh, you're going to see that I'm going to put links out to videos that we have on each of those. So you can actually see what kind of a route a person would take as they're working through the building or the or the or the floor. Um, so it's a very informative, and I, I think you'll really like that. So, um, well, that's about it. That's that's all I have for this. Uh, so that's what your cleaning systems are. 
So if you uh, like the video, go ahead and click the like button. And as always, if you haven't uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe and uh, watch for further uh, future uh, videos. Thanks.